Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, what's going on tonight? It's Ashley, and I'm back again with another fragrance review. Um, this makes three in a row in, like, less than two days. I'm shocked. Um, I haven't done fragrance reviews in a while, so I figured I'd get back into it because I really, really enjoy it. And I like introducing new fragrances to people, and... Uh, giving people an insight and opening their minds to different types of fragrances instead of just the mainstream that's on the market nowadays today. So, today I'm going to review a fragrance that is a classic. Um, it's growing on me. It's becoming one of my favorites to wear. And um, it's by one of the design houses that I have been in love with for about 15 years now. And at first I thought, that, you know, at first I thought this design house didn't really make good quality products. I thought they were more, you know, makeup and, you know, stuff like that. I didn't, never gave it a thought that they made actual fragrances until I tried their fragrance one time called Tuscany Perdona. And that's when I absolutely fell in love. Let me adjust my camera here for a second because it's kind of janky and wonky. There we go. That's a little bit better. Sorry, guys. My real cam my original camera broke um, when I was in Europe on my last vacation. So now I'm having to use my cell phone to do this video for you. So hopefully um, the quality is not too bad. I'm, I'm going to do the best I can to make the quality good. Um... Yeah, back to the fragrance. So, when I first tried Tuscany per Donna, um, I fell in love with it. Like, I absolutely fell in love with that fragrance. And I've gone through about 13 bottles of it now. Now, mind you, I've been with, I've been buying from this design house for the past, what, what was it, 14, about 14 years, 14, 15 years, somewhere in there. And, um... They make really good fragrances. Now, this fragrance is from Estee Lauder, and it is called Cinnabar. Put out of the box for you. It's brand new. I just got it today. I don't know if you can see the writing there. Yeah, Cinnabar. This is in the 1.7 ounce Eau de Parfum spray, and here's what the packaging looks like. Now, the old Cinnabar was, it had the glass flake on, um, but it was a different shape. And the, in the top, the lid was, was solid red plastic. This is, it's plastic, but it looks like it's, it's crystal. This, of course, is, you know, this, of course, is glass. You can hear it, but this one here is plastic you can tell the difference i'm tapping my weight ring on it so you can tell it's it's plastic anyway so i'm guessing that they have reformulated this like everything else in the market i'm almost 99.9 percent .9 sure that it has been reformulated because anytime a design house changes the packaging of of the fragrance you know it's reformulated however they've done a really good job of the reformulation now, Cinnabar by Estee Lauder is a spicy oriental fragrance. We all know from my previous videos that I love my oriental fragrances. Always have. I love love an oriental fragrance. I think they're just so opulent and sexy. Launched in 1978, the nose behind it is Bernard Champ. So, he's a French guy. I'm going to go over the notes in this because there is a ton of notes in this perfume. And then I'm going to spray it on myself and give you my impressions. Guys, girls, there is a ton of notes in here. Get ready. Top notes, spices, peach, cloves, bergamot, tangerine, orange blossom. That's just the top notes. The middle notes, we have carnation, which we all know carnation has been dis has been banned from the IFRA. So now they're having to use a synthetic chemical 
to mimic the carnation scent. So carnation, cinnamon, jasmine, ylang ylang, rose, lily of the valley, lily, Base notes are tulip balsam, sandalwood, amber, patchouli, benzoin, vanilla, vetiver, and incense. That's a lot. That's a lot in this fragrance. Um, this is a very oriental. It's a very oriental fragrance. I'm going to spray some on my arm. I had some on earlier today, but it's kind of. Um, I'm going to do three sprays, y'all. Three, I think. I think three is enough. Right off the top. Right off the top. I'm getting that orange citrus. And the mandar and the, ma uh, the uh, mandarin orange or tangerine. It's coming through. I mean, it's it's there. It's it's like it's like it's like you're peeling. A, you just peeled into a tangerine or an orange or ripe tangerine and an orange. It's right there on the top notes. The bergamot now starts to come into it. We all know that bergamot is a citrus. So the top notes in this fragrance is, a, is very citrusy, um, which is kind of strange in an oriental fragrance because most oriental fragrances don't start off citrusy. This one does. And that's what I like about it because it tricks you. It, it makes you think... It makes you think that you're going to have something, you know, okay, this is going to be a fresh, fruity, you know, fragrance. And then the dry down and boom, here come the spices. Here comes the, here comes the Oriental that, that you, that we all, that I just love and that everybody loves who loves an Oriental like me. Now I'm starting to get... I'm still getting the Tangerine and the Bergamot. The orange blossom is shining through. Very, very strongly shining through. I'm also blowing on it to heat it up so that I can get the, the um, fragrance, the molecules to activate. Here we go with the carnation. Now the carnation starts coming in. So, the top notes in Cinnabar, it, it evaporates... They bubble off really quickly. Like, they don't stay on your skin like a true citrus fragrance does. Um, or shall I say a fragrance that is, that is you know, that's considered a citrus fragrance, citrusy fragrance. They, they, it doesn't stay with you because it's in, it's in the top notes. Most citrus fragrances that are classified as citrus usually have the, the orange and the tangerines, the bergamot and the vetiver and all that stuff. They always have them in the base or the middle notes. Hardly ever in the top notes. On a true, on a true, um, sorry guys, I'm getting tongue tied, tongue tied tonight. It's very rare to find citrus notes and a true citrus fragrance in the top notes. That's what I was trying to say. Sorry, it took a minute. Oh, here comes the jasmine. Now this, it's a fragrance that I'm in, that I'm starting to love. Um, this is only my second bottle of Cinnabar that I bought. I had the older version of Cinnabar that, that had the different flacon and the red cap on it. And I will say that the that the the carnation and the jasmine were more pronounced. They were more, um, how should I say this? They were, they were more bubbly, I guess you could say. Very, very bubbly. This is, this is very kind of fizzy. I mean, you're, it's tricky because you don't know where it is. I mean, it's all over the place. You, you spray it here, but you're trying to find it. You're trying, you're trying, you're trying to look for it, but it's, it's like, it's like keeps evading you. And and that's just between the top notes and the middle. The top notes as they as they dry down, the middle notes 
start to come in, and that's when it starts to evade you. Oh, and yes, by the way, guys, look at my new engagement ring. Hey, I just figured I'd throw that in there. Ain't it pretty? My new engagement ring, yes. Anyway, back to the fragrance. Um, so now we're getting the rose. Now the rose is coming. You can smell that rose and that ylang ylang. Ylang ylang is one of my favorite, is one of my favorite flowers. Yes, I'm going to light a cigarette, you guys. I'm sorry, I am a smoker. So if that bothers you, you're more than welcome to click off my channel now and click off this video, but I'm going to have me a cigarette. I'm sorry. I smoke. Get over it. Now, ooh, the cinnamon now is really starting to shine through. So as this dries down, those top notes that I mentioned before, the peach, the, 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 the spices, the peach, the cloves, the bergamot, the tangerine, the orange blossom, they, they're gone. I mean, they're, they're, they're gone. There's still, there's a hint, very slight, slight hint of tangerine. And that's because tangerine essential oil is very, very strong. And it takes a while for those molecules to actually dissipate. So any fragrance that's going to have a tangerine um, note in it is going to be, it, it's going to linger on for a while because it takes, it takes a while to, to evaporate. Okay, so as I mentioned, I'm sure I went over the, the notes, base notes with you before, but I'm going to do it again. We've covered the top notes. I'm going to go over the middle notes again one more time because there's a lot of shit going on in this stuff. Middle notes again are carnation, cinnamon, jasmine, ylang ylang, rose, lily of the valley, and lily. What? Two lilies. Can you imagine? Now I'm starting to smell the lily of the valley. Oh, and that carnation just... And the cinnamon is just... It's like... It reminds me of opium. But... The pre-reformulated version of opium, if that makes any sense. Are you feeling me? We all know that opium has been reformulated. We all know that. And everyone complains that it stinks. That it's horrible. They don't like the new reformulation of opium. I enjoy it. I do like it. Um, it's grown on me. But this the cinnabar reminds of me a lot. Remi reminds of me. Reminds me a lot of the pre-reformulated opium from Yves Saint Laurent. And yeah, the tangerine is still there, but now it's mixing in with the, now the lily of the valley and the lily is starting to shine through as is the cinnamon. But as it dries down, you are left with this incense -y, resiny, creaminess, just this opulence that, that, that is so seductive. Once it dries down, it is absolutely mesmerizing. I mean, it is just absolutely mesmerizing. Now, this is not a projection monster by any means. This is not a projection beast. So you can spray a lot on there on your skin or whatever. Cause it's not, a, it's not a projection. It's not a projection beast. Um, the older formulation of Cinnabar was, yes, the older formulation was a projection beast. This one's a little more tamed. Do I like that? Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. I prefer fragrances that are bold and have a, a great projection because if I'm going to buy a fragrance and I'm going to wear it. I want to be able to put two, three squirts on and I want people around me to smell my fragrance and me not have to get so up close and personal to, to them for them to smell me.
Now the tulu balsam is coming in. That's where it starts to get that resiny opulence to it. So the base notes are tulu balsam, sandalwood, amber, pashuli, benzoin, vanilla, vetiver, and incense. Guys, there's a lot going on in this fragrance. A lot. There is a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on. Cinnabar is an is opulent is an opulent seductive oriental, and it's best worn in the fall or in the colder months. I wouldn't wear this in the summertime. I, I just wouldn't. It's just my that's just me. It's too spicy and too too much of an oriental fragrance to, to be worn in the summer, especially if you live in my part of my part of the country in the south where it gets really humid. And the heat index is of 100, 102 degrees during the summertime, and the humidity is high as, as high as hell. You don't want to wear a heavy oriental fragrance, even though yes, the top notes is citrus. It does have some citrus top notes, but they are gone quickly. They don't last. So don't be fooled by the top citrus notes in this fragrance because it will evaporate quickly it will get it will leave you and it'll leave you with the with the resiny creaminess of the um oriental spices and the oriental notes that are in this fragrance i would recommend this for formal wear that's just me of course i work to i work to work sometimes I, you can wear you can wear it casual you can do casual you know Casual it up. You can make formal. I personally would recommend somebody if we're going to buy this to use it for formal occasions. For that, you know, little black dress cocktail party or that, you know, suit and tie um, party or whatnot. And yes, men can pull this off too because there's plenty of notes in here that are all also, that are also in a lot of men's fragrances. And as you all know, fragrance to me has no gender. There is no such thing as gender-specific fragrance. If it smells good, I'm going to wear it. So to me, there's no such thing as, as men's cologne or men's fragrance and women's fragrances. To me, it's a fragrance. It's designed to make you smell good. And if it if that's what it does, then so be it. Amber. The amber is coming through right now. I'm smelling that amber. It's very, very pronounced. It's so, it's so rich and, and, and just, it's just an opulent scent. Ciliage, or sillage, however you want to pronounce it. Ciliage is, once it dries down, it kind of stays close to the skin. That's why when I spray it, usually what I do when I spray it on myself, I spray one here. One here, one on the back of my neck, and then I lift my shirt and two, one, two, three, four inside my shirt and let it sit there because the heat from my chest warms up the fragrance. And as it warms up the fragrance, it wafts out and you get that scent throughout the day. Because if you just spray it like on your pulse points or something, it's going to, it's going to fleet it's going to be pretty fleeting, okay? It's, 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 I'm not saying that it's not going to last, but it, it lasts longer if you may, if you get it on your chest area right here where it's, where it's warm. And also that part that, your, your, sorry, your clothing touches your chest. So it gets onto your clothing too, and, it's, and, it, and it lasts a lot longer. Um, staying power with this, about, I would say about four to six hours give or take, depending on how liberal you are with the, with the atomizer. It has a really good atomizer. I mean, it has, it's one of the best atom, atomizers that Estee Lauder makes. I think, in my opinion, it's very pretty too. It's gold. Um, age group. Let's talk about the age group. I've been told 30 plus, which I can understand. However, I think the younger generation can also pull this off simply because they're going to be intrigued by the top notes that are citrusy, which is what 
this new generation is used to with all the mainstream fragrances that we have on the market today that are nothing but aquatic citrus, aquatic citrus, aquatic citrus, blah, 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 blah. So they're used to that. Their noses have become accustomed to anything that's aqua aquatic and citrusy. So if they try this for the first time, they're going to be like, oh my God, I like it. I can smell the, you know, I can smell the man, I can smell the tangerine, I can smell the orange blossom, I can smell the, the, the peach and the cloves and the bergamot, I can smell, you know, it's, it's a citrus fragrance. But then as it dries down, it becomes this opulent, sexy, seductive fragrance that's just absolutely mesmerizing. I'm starting to like Cinnabar more and more. Like I said, this is my second bottle that I've went through. I haven't gone through as many as I have my Tuscany Perdona because I absolutely love that fragrance. That is one of my f best, it is one of my most favorite fragrances from the house of Estee Lauder. Now, it's not my signature scent. We all know my signature scent is Chanel Number no. 5, and I carry plenty of that. I'm going to do a review on the new Chanel Number no. 5 here shortly because they have reformulated it, and it's made me mad. Anywho, back to the fragrance. So, like I was saying, younger generation can pull this off, too, because the top notes do have citrus in it, and they are automatically going to recognize... Oh, this is another mainstream fragrance. You know, this smells like such and or such and such fragrance, or this smells like this fragrance because of the top notes. Once it, but like I said, once it dries down, you are left with this opulent, creamy, velvety, just gorgeous, gorgeous scent. And now, now I can smell the patchouli. The patchouli is very pronounced in this fragrance. Very, very pronounced. So. To recap, Cinnabar, released in 1978 from the house of Estee Lauder. Um, the nose behind it is Bernard Schott. I think that's how you pronounce it. Schott. Bernard Schott. Um, he's the nose behind this. I'm liking it. Like I said, I'm liking this. I'm, 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 it's growing on me. I'm really liking it. It's my second bottle that I purchased. I do intend. I'm do intend to start wearing it more often now that the now that fall and the winter is coming, and it's becoming more appropriate to wear this fragrance in those colder months. So I'll be wearing a lot more of this of Cinnabar. I think I think I'm in love. I think I like it. I really do. I think I like it. That's it for tonight, guys. So please hit that like button and subscribe, comment, and we'll see you again on the next fragrance review. Peace, y'all.